back. This is the Book Babins. I'm Amanda and I'm coming to you today to review Beyond the Wand by Tom Felton. So Beyond the Wand is his memoirs of his years making the Harry Potter films, which because he is a younger man is a substantial part um, of his total life. But because of the length of the years it took to make all eight um, of the Harry Potter movies, we're talking about most of their, uh, most of their childhood slash teenage young adult years. So like with most memoirs about um, anything to do with the entertainment industry, particularly children in the entertainment industry, there is a little tinge of sadness to it for me because you really, you really see how great a cost these young actors paid um, to make something that so many of us love so deeply. And it's, it kind of, for me, enriches the movies in that way because I appreciate even more um, the sacrifice and the cost that was um, for them to make them, something that I revisit again and again. Um, you know, that magical world that means so much to, to so many of us. As an author, it is clear to me that he wrote it himself um, or that the ghostwriters, I, I don't think he used a ghostwriter. I think he wrote it himself because there's a there's a, a very conversational style to it that sounds like him. If you've ever listened to interviews he's given or if you follow him on social media at all, it sounds a lot like he does. Um, and it doesn't, it's not a very, it's not a super polished prose, which I think for the format actually adds to that. It comes across as very genuine and very sincere um, he has an interesting comment that I think is probably accurate that because they were so young, right, they're portraying essentially like 10 and 11 year olds in the film that the casting directors basically found the characters. So he is in some ways kind of Malfoy in this lover of breaking rules, this kind of irreverence for things, um, not in the like mean ways, but he talks about there's a lot of characteristics, a cheekiness is what he how he describes himself often in the book as being a cheeky child um, in a way that Malfoy is, often is. So it was, I think some of my favorite parts were the parts where he talked about being cast and like what that was like and talking about um, how his approach to the scenes changed as he aged as a person, but also as he matured as an actor, right? So he had had several roles before this. He'd even been in a movie. Um, but the way that he approached the character matured, which in a way the books also mature as they get older, as the, um, as the students get older, so do the themes, so does the things that they face. And so he talks, especially at the end, the scene, um, where it's, uh, Draco and Dumbledore and how he approached that scene and, and how beautiful the other actors on the cast were as a whole. He talks a lot about Alan Rickman. He talks a lot about um, the actors who played his parents on the films. Uh, it was kind of a lovely romp in that world to get to see that at least some of the magic that you felt on screen was also happening behind the scenes um, between the characters and between the people. And that's really beautiful. Um, at Towards the end, he talks about his struggles as he comes out of the Harry Potter world because the movies are over, as he tries to decide what to do next and the and the the struggles and the I I honestly think that a lot of people in entertainment face this kind of thing and I think it is particularly harsh for people who start in that industry when they are children or when they're teenagers and then trying to like transition into adulthood and he talks a lot about his struggles there. I don't want to spoil too much of the book. I thoroughly enjoyed it. He narrates the audiobook himself, which I always love uh, because they, I love when the authors narrate their own books because they put the emphasis in the places where it means the most to them. They read it the way that they wrote it. They read it the way they intended it to be read, which I always appreciate. Um, I recommend it. it. It was not something I'll probably ever read again. Um, but I did enjoy it and I enjoyed his perspective and I enjoyed how reflective he was of the whole experience. I'm, I appreciated his 
um, candor in a lot of places, like the moments where he really recognizes that he had privileges um, just for who he was, like his ability for his parents to put him in a position to to take advantage of this role, but also compared to the rest of the cast, like the way that the main three, the Ron, Hermione, Harry characters bore a lot of brunt that the other actors did, didn't, excuse me, the other actors did it. And I appreciated the the kind of maturity and reflectiveness with which he uh, treats his own experience. And I think that shows a, a lot of maturity considering what a yo the young man that he is. I mean, he's in his 30s. So I think it just shows a lot of depth of character there. So I would recommend it Beyond the Wand by Tom Felton. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Bye.